qualifying final football here at the MCG. Level one, the Pies taking on the Ds. The Ds taking on the best team in the comp, but the Ds are in ripping form. I'm here with cameraman Baz. Baz, how are you feeling about the atmosphere? Thursday night football, it doesn't get much bigger. I love football. I love football. Uh, I think tonight's going to be a masterclass. And, well, you might not go home and win up as a neutral. You know what? Yeah, it, I've, this is the biggest game I've ever been to. We know the ramifications for the loser. You've got to go through the Blues, and then you've got to go through the Lions if the favourites win across the weekend. And the winner gets a home prelim at the MCG. This is the game we stumbled at last year. We took on the Swans. We're up by about 25, halfway through the second, halfway through the third, and they ran us down. We're coming up against the best side in the comp, but can we take a scalp, right the wrong, and send ourselves to a prelim? Who are you tipping, Baz? Such a tough question. It's a flip of the coin. That's the issue. <laughs> and I don't, I, don't even, I don't know if I want to choose one, but it's like the I'm pretty good at this. Yeah, you are. These boy. Well. Five. If it is, it's going to be chaotic. Um, got to respect our opposition. This is a bloody good pies outfit. They've been unreal all season. They've got some serious ins. Um, we're just going to have to stifle them. We're going to have to suffocate them. We're going to have to embrace the arm wrestle. Absolute nerves here at the MCG. Who's your one to watch? One to watch is Trent Rivers. And I'm tipping the D's by... I'm going to say 13 points. Hopefully. Before the quarter started, I said to Baz, the last thing, like, nightmare scenario is we let them blitz us early. This is what they did on King's birthday. The first 15 minutes, it was all Collingwood, and then for the rest of the game, we got control. Um, this is not an ideal start. Bobby Hill is on fire. He's kicked the first two. Come on, boys. <laughs> it's an amazing atmosphere. The Collingwood chant is going around the MCG while they've stopped They've stopped the play for Gussie Brayshaw. Bailey Fritch is bringing the boys into a huddle at the moment. Brayshaw's out. I feel gutted for him, given his history with concussion. They didn't show the Maynard hit. They showed it once for five seconds. It looked like he was going the smother. Uh, left the ground to go the smother and collected Brayshaw. I, I, we haven't seen it yet, but I don't think it was as dirty as what you'd probably expect. But he's probably going to get a holiday anyway. But... Tensions are simmering here at the MCG. The boys got a lift. We're pretty lucky to only be eight points down and then Jack Chris kicks that to make it 14. Uh, on the back foot in the first quarter, it's what you'd expect. This is the best set team in the competition that we're taking on. Um, just gotta settle a little bit settle a little bit, making some uncharacteristic mistakes in transition, maybe it's because it's a little bit slippery, but um, we're in this game, which is exciting considering we're yet to really get the game on our turn. Quarter time here at the MCG and the D's trail by 20 points. Uh, they had it all on their terms, the Pies, they got the jump on us. Um, they're a very good football side, so it was to be expected. We just couldn't stand up against their pressure and their physicality and, and they stretched us with their height going forward, which we didn't think would be a factor in the rain, but it was. And they stretch us with their height when we go forward as well. Bailey Fridge and Van Royen and Tommy Mack are just getting out marked, which is really frustrating. But um, if we can straighten it up and tighten the screws, we can get ourselves back in it. But at the moment, it is not looking good. They missed a lot of opportunities, the Pies, but we finally worked our way up. The track took a mark inside 50, was going to have a shot at goal, and they gave a free kick for blocking when Isaac Quainer ran into an idle Cosy Pickett, and they called it a block. I thought that was the wrong call. They've gone end to end, and they're out to a 27-point lead. The Ds haven't fired a shot yet, and if we don't get the next, it's all but over. cosy has gone up around the ball, gotten his hands on it, and finally, we answer back with a goal of our own. We reduce the margin, what is that, 19 points. And it feels like in this second term, we finally rocked up the play. So we just need to put it on the scoreboard. We're getting it inside 50 and we're getting, we're getting it to like 30 meters out and then we'll, we'll have a bit of a fumble, we'll miss a hand in. 
and they go down the other end and capitalise. So that was a fantastic mark by Coz, and we've got to get going now. Half time here at the G, the Pies missed a couple of opportunities. Well, we've missed more actually. It's eight scoring shots to six, but um, we've had four points over three. But they did miss some set, set shots throughout the first half that they should have kicked. But in saying that, we grew into the game and dominated the territory in that second quarter. We were all over them. I kept slapping Baz next to me saying, we deserve a goal here, we're going to get another goal, and we couldn't quite get one. Cosy Pickett was instrumental in getting us into the game, so was Maxi Gorn, he was huge. If we play like that for the last two quarters, we're not out of it. It's a 17-point deficit, but built beautifully into that, that quarter. I think, um, yeah, the pies are just so impressive. It's going to take a mountain of work to get the job done from here, but we're not out of it, which is a good position to be in. How you feel, Baz? Feels like you've got the possession. Like we we like deserved one or two more late. Yeah. Their goals are classic goals on the plane. The like counter you, punch. Yeah. So don't discourage yourself about it. Because it's still up in the air. Keep that belief, embrace the arm wrestle. Big third term coming up, but we're not out of it. We've had all the momentum since quarter time. We're going for a kick inside 50 to reduce it to under two goals. And we kick it into the man of the mark and they go into end. It sort of summed up our night. Really frustrating. The counter punch pies just absorbing all our pressure. Our inability to convert. It's nine scoring shots to eight. They've had one more scoring shot and they have quite the margin. So we've dug ourselves a deep hole and they're looking pretty formidable at the moment, the Pies. Everything's falling their way. Tom Sparrow throws it on the boot, reduces it to 21 points. Um, need a lot more of those, but that was a little bit more promising. Got to keep coming here. Come on, lads. Jordy to go. He want to finish. Um, man, yeah, it's just their night. Everything is just going their way. Snap kicks out of the pack from 45 and floating through. It's... Um, yeah, it's been a rough night at the office for the Ds. 13 scoring shots apiece. Maybe I'm going a little bit insane, but I feel like we've been all right tonight. Um, 17 more inside 50s and the Pies. We've owned the territory, and then they just counter punch, which is what they're famous for. Uh, the Pies have just been cleaner. They've absorbed the pressure. It feels like they've absorbed the moments. Like the big moments of being in a big final a lot better than us. It, it, it feels like we've been a little bit panicky, a little bit fumbly. Um, we'll be working some great transition end to end and they'll get a hand in that just completely unravels our play. They'll go down the other end and score. We're missing set shots directly in front. Cosy Pickett's blazing at goals. Tracks blazing at goals. We're not bringing our teammates into it. We had a, um, an advantage and there was three, an advantage call. There was three D's players inside 50 all by themselves and they butchered it. Ed Langdon had Neil Bullitt in the goal square and he had a blazing shot. I missed to the skinny side, so literally just not our night. I still feel like we've been okay, but um, yeah, the pie's just way too good, which is really disappointing. Tommy Mack kicks one to start this last term. We couldn't, could we? We could. We couldn't, could we? It's only 19 points. Dead dream. Joel Smith marks directly in front, 15 metres out. Convert. Yeah, athletic bastard. Convert. Come on, D! Come on! Smithy converts. 13-point game with plenty to play. Momentum shifting now. The next goal is massive. This kick is massive for Bailey Fritz to reduce it to seven points. Entering into time on, we just haven't taken our opportunities. Um, it, it feels like we've dominated for large parts of the night. We still trail by 13. We still feel like a goal will get us back in it, but we're running out of time. We've got to go now. Fritter marks and converts, reduces it to seven. There's two minutes 50 on the clock. Take your breath, McDonald. We couldn't, could we? We've been brave all night. We've dominated for large periods of this game. Oh, They've been more efficient than the Pies, but we've been so brave. What have we got left? Come on, mate. We just got beer thrown on us. It's loud. The Pies are home in the qualifier. Let's get out of here. 
beer thrown on us at the end there, Baz. A little, little bit unsavoury. A little bit of a shower for us. <laughs> um, man, heartbreaking. Pies too good. But we weren't far off and we didn't play at our best. Um, yeah, tough pill to swallow. I felt like we dominated huge patches of the third. Huge, well, we dominated the whole last. And then we dominated patches of the second. It was probably that first quarter and then the counter punch in the second term, which got the pies over the line. You know what I think you said at the very start of the game when they were lining up for the anthem, the height difference? Yeah, well, yeah. Te teams with multiple guys taller than 200 centimetres, like two, three, four blokes, really stretches. The blue stretches, the lion stretches, and the pies always stretches. Um, you, you put a lot of pressure on JVR tonight. Yeah, Tommy Mack didn't really fire a shot. Heartbreaking, but yeah, well, it's heartbreaking. It's probably season over. I don't see us making the grand final from here. Um, Pies in the box seat, and they probably deserve to be. They've been the best team all year. And we've got to dust ourselves off and go again. If we go straight sets two years in a row, I probably stop following the sport. <laughs> <laughs> Onto the NHL. Onto the NHL. <laughs>